Hey everybody, this is James Bruzy from Bruzy Vineyard. And since we are not able to do our Bruzy Institute culinary workshops right now, I decided to do an online video to teach you guys how to make one of my favorite things, which is homemade ice cream. So to start with, in a saucepan, I've combined two cups of whole milk and two cups of heavy whipping cream. Then we're gonna take this and we're gonna heat it until it's hot, but not quite boiling. For our second step, while the milk is heating up, we've got six farm fresh egg yolks from a local farmer right here in Young. We're gonna take these and start whisking them in a bowl, and we're gonna add one cup of sugar. You can kind of just dump it all in there. You're gonna to wanna to whisk the mixture for about three minutes until it's pale and fluffy. So just keep it moving and whisk it up. All right, so we've whisked up our egg yolks and sugar. They're nice and pale yellow and fluffy there. And for our next step, we're going to take about one cup of our warm milk and cream mixture. Again, it's, it's nice and hot, you can see it's steaming. And the idea for this is to temper the eggs, which is to cook them and not scramble them. So you're gonna add in about a cup of the warm milk mixture slowly and whisk it in. Then you're going to want to add about another cup of the hot milk and cream mixture. And then give it another lid to make sure everything's next together. And now you're going to add this back into the saucepan. Turn that to the heat, and you're going to want to whisk it for a couple minutes. Again, you don't want it quite to boil, but you want to make sure it's nice and hot, and that the eggs are cooked and the sugar is dissolved. So our mixture here has cooked for about four and five minutes and it's thickened up quite a bit. You can see it there. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this from the heat. And for this ice cream today, we've decided to do just a sweet cream ice cream, which is just a base for any flavor. Um, but just to give it a little kick, I'm going to add one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And we're just going to give that another mix there. Now, a great part about this recipe is you do not need an ice cream maker to make it. So uh, the next step, if you don't have an ice cream maker, if you do, of course, just pour it into the ice cream maker and follow the directions. But if you don't, um, what I like to do is take a bowl that's more wide than deep, like this one here. And then we're going to take the mixture. And we're just going to pour it into the bowl.
And then we're gonna just pop it in the freezer. Now once it's in the freezer, about every two hours, we're gonna come back with a fork and we're gonna stir it up. That's gonna give it a nice kind of uh, aeration and, and make a more kind of lighter ice cream. If you wanted to, you could just leave it like this, put it in, but you're gonna get a much denser, thicker ice cream like a gelato or a custard. All right, so we've had the ice cream in the freezer for about six hours now. We've been stirring it every two hours with a fork to keep it nice and fluffy. And here is our final product. So as you can see, it's nice and frozen solid. And now it's ready to go. So for mixings with ice cream, there's a lot of different options, pretty much the sky's the limit. If you are wanting to do something like a chocolate flavor, you're gonna to wanna to add some chocolate, melted chocolate chips um, right before you put it in the freezer. If you're gonna add something, say rum raisin, you can soak some raisins in rum and add those in probably about after four hours or so once it's starting started to get firm but isn't quite solid yet. So going to just get a scoop here. Pop it in the bowl. And this again is our sweet cream ice cream. That's some good shit. Well, thanks for watching everybody. And we hope you'll stay tuned to our Facebook page. Also, we're having a wine sale right now. Three bottles for $99 delivered anywhere in Arizona. So give us a call at 928-462-3314 or drop us an email at bruisyvineyard at aol.com and we'll see you guys soon. Thanks.